Hi there, I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe and in this video I will show you how I made my embroidery hoop art of my crochet Lily of the Valley. For this project you will need to know how to slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet and how to treble crochet. Don't be discouraged if you haven't done all of these techniques before. I will link to my tutorials on how to do them in the upper right corner so you can check them out and get back to this video later. So for this pretty little spring project we need an embroidery hoop and the one I'm using measures 18 centimeters or 7 inches in diameter. And then we'll need yarn in a DK or light worsted weight in white and green. I really like this bright green because I think the Lady of the Valley already has quite a bright green naturally, the leaves of it, but I like to exaggerate it a bit because I really like how this goes with the white and how it pops on the natural color of the linen I'm using. But of course you can choose any color that you like. And then we'll need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook the US equivalent would be a 1.5, but the closest, um, the next closest, if you don't have a 1.5, would be a size C2. And then we need some sort of pen to mark the outline of the embroidery hoop on our fabric. And as far as fabric goes, I'm using lightweight linen because I really like the color, but of course you can use any kind of fabric you like to embroider on. It just shouldn't be too thick so it will it's easier if it's easy to stitch through of course. And then I'm using two types of needles. One of them is blonde and has a bent tip and the other one is sharp. But don't worry if you don't have both of them you can do both um, both of the two different jobs with only one of them but it, it will make life a bit easier if you have both of them and then all we need is a pair of small scissors and big ones to cut the fabric but don't worry if you don't have fabric scissors you can use any kind of sharp scissors so let's get started technically we won't embroider much on the fabric it's more like crocheting onto the fabric. So because of this, the process is going to be quite different, or at least this is the way I prefer it, because I prefer to first um, work on the fabric and then afterwards attach it to the hoop because I just like it to be flexible when I'm crocheting on it. Uh, it's just easier for me, but you, you might want to do it the other way around. This is just how I'm more comfortable with it. So what I do is I just place my hoop in the middle of the fabric and then I just mark the outline of the hoop just so I know where to actually embroider and crochet. Oops, so that's it. Now I know. Now we need to start thinking of our design, how we want how we want our lily of the valley to look. So I'm going to keep it simple. So mine will just be one stem with two leaves. And for that, I will need to embroider three lines. So in the middle is going to be one for the stem. So I want it to start quite in the middle and then it goes straight up for a bit and then I just like it to make a slight curve here. So it will go like this. And then I want two leaves for that and the line that I'm going to draw, this is going to be the middle, the center of the leaf. 
So that's going to start in the same place. And one goes like this, up to there. And then the other one, the other one goes a bit further out. Now I'm taking my sharp tapestry needle and just thread some green yarn on it. And just keep it about 60 centimeters long. So that's, oh, I think 24 inches. And then I just get started with this sleeve. So I stitch through from below. And then I'm just stitching through on the line that I drew only two, three millimeters. So I'm making a really small little stitch here. Pull it through. So now we've got our first little loop that we can later crochet on. And then again, I stitch through the same point, and again, I make a really small stitch, like three millimeter max. It's really small, so I don't even know how, how much that is in inches. Pull that all the way through. And don't pull too tight because you don't want it, too much tension so that the fabric wrinkles. And that's our second little stitch. Again, pull roughly, not exactly, it doesn't have to be exactly, but roughly through the same point. And work your way up. So now we've got three little stitches. Let's show you a close up. So a stitch. through the same spot, close to, close to it, and then two, three millimeters up the line you drew, and pull it through. And this way we work our way up to the end of our line we drew. I just checked, so three millimeters are about one eighth of an inch. So this is how big or small I make the stitches roughly. So I reached the end my line and what I do now is I just stitch through to the other side right here on top of my last loop just stitch through and leave that for now and now I'm going to do the other side
So the base of my second leaf is now done and again I just stitch through right behind my last loop. ends a bit shorter and now we can go ahead and crochet the leaves so now we take our green yarn and make a slip knot so now we can join our yarn here in the first slip stitch that we made because actually this chain that we embroidered is it works like a like a chain now or like a row of slip stitches that we can crochet on so i insert my hook into the back loop and then yarn over pull it through and then I make a slip stitch. So the first one is tricky. There we go. So my yarn is joined now, but before I go ahead and start to crochet with you, I should just mention that my pattern is based on the number of stitches that um, I embroidered onto the fabric. So for me, that's 32. But I didn't want to tell you to make exactly 32 stitches because I really wanted to encourage you to go for your own design. So this is just a guideline. You just um, you just do you. Basically what I'm doing is just I form a shape of a leaf by going wider and wider and wider and then narrower and narrower towards the tip of the leaf and then towards the middle go wider and wider and narrower and I do this by first doing slip stitches then single crochet then half double crochet double crochet treble crochet double crochet half double crochet single crochet slip stitches and repeat the same process on the other side so just crochet along with me just know that you don't have to crochet the exact same numbers of stitches that I do so in the next back loop, I'm going to make another slip stitch and another one in the next back loop. And now I'm moving on to making single crochet. So I single crochet in the three next back loops. One, two, three. And then I move on to half double crochet. So I half double crochet the next four. One, two, three, four. Next, I'm going to make four double crochet. One, oops, Two, three, four, and then it's helpful to, ch to check once you've done a few if there's not, just make sure there's not too much tension so the fabric doesn't wrinkle too much. So that looks all right. So we can move on. And now I'm going to make four treble crochet. So wrap the yarn around my hook twice. And 
it up again and pull it through the first two, through the next two, and through the remaining two. Again, wrap it around twice. Insert my hook in the back loop. Pick up the yarn. Pick it up again. Pull it through the first two loops. Pick it up again. Pull it through the next two loops. Pick it up again and pull it through the two remaining loops. One last time. So now I'm going back to double crochet and I will make four of them. Three, be careful not to split the yarn. Four. And now I'm going to check again. Just stretch your work a bit, just so the fabric stays nice and even. If it gets a little bit wrinkly, I think you can even that out later. But try to keep it as even as possible. So if your slip stitches are too large, then you might want to occasionally crochet two into one stitch, just so there won't be too much tension on the fabric. Now I'm going to make four half double crochet. One, two, three, four. Next, I'll make three single crochet. One, two, three, and then three slip stitches. One, two, three. So let's see. Going to stretch this again. So that's looking good so far. And now I'm going to make another slip stitch in the same, just so I can easily move on to crochet back down on the other side. So now we crochet in what used to be the front loop, but it's from our perspective, it's the back loop again. And I make another slip stitch. And 
and then I slip stitch in the next. And in the next. And now, as you can see, because my leaf is bending this way, it will cause more tension when I crochet back down. So I will need to make more stitches. So I'm making another slip stitch in the same. And then I'll single crochet the next. And then in the next one, I will single crochet two. One, two. And single crochet one more in the next. Now I make a half double crochet. And then I just look. So I didn't plan this a lot ahead. You can just feel when there is too much tension and you need to make more stitches. So in the next one, I'm going to make two half double crochet. One and two. And one more in the next. And then a double crochet in the next. And double crochet two in the next. And double crochet one in the next. And another one in the next. See how that looks. Yes, so wherever the leaf is bending, I add some extra stitches in to release the tension on a bit on the fabric. Now I'm going to travel cro crochet in the next. And then I'll travel two in the next one. One. And two. Travel in the next and in the next. Then I'll double in the next. Double two in the next. And double one in the next. And one more in the next. Then 
I'll half double one in the next. Half double one, two in the next one. One more in the next, and another one in the next. Then I make three slip stitches. One, two, three, and three slip stitches. One, two, So let's see how it looks. Stretch the edge of that. Now because the lily of the valley has really nice and wide leaves, I'm going to add another round to this leaf. So I'll chain one just so I can turn around and continue working on the other side. And then I'll just work into the stitches I previously made. So I'll start with three slip stitches again. One, Two, three, then three single crochet, one, two, three, four half double crochet, one, Two, three, four, and four double crochet. So I'm just working the same stitches that I made before. So I'll single crochet in the single crochet, half double crochet in the half double crochet and double crochet in the double crochet. And now I'll treble crochet in the treble crochet. Oh, I've almost reached the tip of my leaf now, so I'll make the last few slip stitches. And one in the top. Turn it around and stretch it a bit. Now I'll slip stitch another one in the top one. Now on the way back down, I just crochet the stitches as they appear again. So the first three are slip stitches. Two, three, 
then three single crochet no sorry four because I increased here then we have five half double crochet So I'm not increasing further further in this round. I just crochet the increases that I made in the previous round. So I've reached the end of the second round now and I'm just going to break the yarn, pull it through. So this is the first leaf done. I'm just going to thread the ends now onto my sharp needle. Just to stitch them all through to the left side of the needlework. And stitch through here just to make sure that this looks nice and straight. Nice and flat. So now we can tie the ends together. Okay, so that went quite well. Now let's repeat this with the other leaf. So my second row here has 29 stitches. So what I do is I think of which number within that can be divided by three, which in this case would be 27. So I make three stitches of each so three slip stitches, three single, three half double, three double, three treble, three double, three half double, three single, and three slip stitches. So then I have two extra, which I then decide where to put them. So I'm making four double crochet each, I decided, and this is how I figured out how many stitches I make. Just keep in mind that now here again, where the chain is bending, I will add more stitches just to release some pressure. As you can see here on this side, I added quite a few extra stitches and it really was necessary because now um, there's not too much tension on the fabric, but it still pops up nicely, which is what I was going for. Now I just let you go ahead and crochet the other leaf and this is part one of this video complete. So once you completed the second leaf, make sure to continue with part two, which I link to in the upper right corner. See you there!